boss just went god mode? What? Uh, uh, what? Okay guys, today's video, it's gonna be insane. That's right, it's gonna be insane, seven. Uh, <laughs> this will be a little short, uh, but I wanted to throw this video quickly together to show you guys two replays that might change the way that you think of boss fight ever, okay? So the first is going to be a match by YDE as he clears Insane 7, and I'll give you some very quick tips, um, talk a little bit about his brawler comp and stuff like that. And the second is a recording posted on the Brawl Stars subreddit by Maxim BMO um, of the God Mode Boss. <laughs> Which is absolute bonkers. Uh, yeah, you know what's serious when I call something bonkers. The the link to the Reddit post is actually in the video description, so make sure you check that out. But also, if you do not know who YDE is, you have to check him out, guys. Now, there are two big reasons why. Okay, first is that while I'm showing you him beating Insane 7, he's actually posted a video on his YouTube channel of him beating Insane 8. And uh, I wouldn't be surprised if he actually went to try and clear Insane 9 even after that. I mean, he, which is crazy. Second reason why you want to sub to him and follow him is because he, one literally could argue that he is the best player in the world right now, okay? It was his team that actually took first place in the Brawl Stars World Finals last week. And uh, I mean, I, I consider myself to be a pretty competitive player, okay? But while Lex and I were casting the event, our jaws literally dropped on mul multiple occasions because of how incredibly skilled his he is. I mean, he's he's bonkers. Once again, guys, bonkers. <laughs> now uh, he's also got a YouTube channel in which he posts posts um, competitive gameplay um, with typically high skilled brawlers, you know, like Mortis uh, stuff like that, and. Um, I can't believe that he's only at 4,000 subscribers, guys. You gotta go give him some love. Go tell him that Kairos sent you. Tell him, spread spread the Kairos love um, onto his channel. And uh, yeah. <laughs> now, things to talk about here. So for this comp, we've got Colt, we got Pam, and we've got Bull. No legendary brawlers, woo, love that. Uh, <laughs> now here's how basically, very simply, here's how this works out. Okay, so Colt tends to try and stay far away and his goal is to try and deal damage from a distance um, and deal damage to those bots to try and take them out that can actually like spawn around. And then also, very important, is that the boss, when he actually fires off those rockets, he, he always fires off rockets at the brawler that is furthest from him, distance-wise. And so it's Colt's job to to stay as far away as he can from them so that they will go after him, and then he can actually run away from those rockets, uh, dodging them, while also taking care of some of those additional brawlers. Um, so that Pam and Bull, the real damage dealers, can get up close to, them, get up close to him and uh, deal as much damage as you, they possibly can. Now, you absolutely have to beat the boss before he goes into enrage mode. Um, otherwise, it gets really hard. You can beat the boss uh, before enrage mode, which I think happens at four minutes and 30 seconds. Uh, not 100% sure on that, but somewhere around there. Yeah, you, you can beat him after that, but uh, there is absolutely nothing you will be able to do once he goes god mode. It is seriously all over once that happens, and I'll show you guys that later, okay? So once again, Pam and Bull are your main damage dealers. They need to swap back and forth dealing damage and picking up those power cubes. Pam's healing station actually becomes super important later on, especially with her being buffed, which is why both she and Pam want to have those power cubes. Also, staying up close to the boss allows you to better dodge his shots that he has. Um, once, once you get past Furious mode, uh, then it gets a little bit more c complex and kind of difficult, but uh, you can see them using this strategy right here. I mean, this is really close, okay? They got 13%. The time is ticking. Um, bye, right? Kairos pun right there. And uh, they're just trying to deal as much damage as they possibly can. He's almost down. They know it's just a matter of time before he goes to Furious. Or let's see, was he Furious? Enrage mode is what I mean. Um, and they're just kind of swapping back and forth, uh, trying to avoid that damage. You can see Colt running off in the distance like I mentioned earlier. Here it's getting really close. Only 5% left on this match. They're shredding through it. I can't even believe this. Look at this. They're, they're handling this like they're total pros. 22% which is absolutely nuts, guys. Huge props to them for doing that. Uh, I'm Skyrix as well. He was also on the competitive team for YDE, and I believe that at 
Elite was also on their qualifying team with them. I'm not 100% sure to try and make it there, but he unfortunately could not make it. He's a very skilled player as well. Okay, guys, now we've got the, the clip that you've probably been waiting for right here. Um, boss went God Mode at 635, which is nuts. He turns white. There are explosions. There are rockets. 4,000 damage from that rocket. And take a look at that. 9,400 damage with one punch. With one punch. Let's look at that one more time. Okay. I mean, it's nuts. It is nuts. Even Bull here is having a hard time dodging those rockets because they're rocket after rocket after rocket after rocket. And he's... Look at that boss. He is charging for him. It is absolutely insane. There's no way you can survive this. I don't care who you are. And 9,400 damage is so much damage. It will take out a max out El Primo uh, without any power-ups. Obviously, if an El Primo has a few additional power-ups, then he might be able to survive a little bit longer. Leon would be your best bet here, just going invisible and just, like, hiding for a little bit, like, I hope he doesn't notice me! Uh, make sure you do check out the link to the Reddit post, and then also absolutely go give YDE a super smash like and comment on his video, letting him know that Kyra sent you. Uh, for now, guys, this is Kyra's time ticking by, and we will see you in Brawl Stars.